In Manchester, a radio message has come in from a pilot of an EasyJet flight. Two female passengers are suspected of smoking cannabis in the plane's rear toilet. Who is it, Blanc? I'll go upstairs, mate. All right, I'll go upstairs. The pressure is now on for sniffer dog Amy to identify the suspects amongst the crowd. Stay single file to the right, please, as you're going through, thanks. Just stay to the right and keep walking past. Ames, in here. Just lower that back for me, please. Amy. Amy is looking for drugs, but UK border officer Phil is trained to spot suspicious behaviour. So much. There was a girl who didn't really want to look. I don't know whether she had a small handbag. She, if it was her, she wasn't too keen on lowering it for the dog. It wasn't a definite indication, so Amy boards the plane to search the seats for any drugs ditched by the suspects. Hey, am I in about the general area where she was sat? Yeah. yeah. Dog isn't pinpointing any particular areas, she's just very busy around all those seats. Staff have been on already and done a search of the whole area. Um, so the, what there could be, the dog could just be picking up the residual smell of whatever she's been doing, been taking. With no physical evidence left on the plane, the officers will stop and search the two suspects for any cannabis. Unexpectedly, the officer gets a hit for cocaine. It's quite noticeable that, that this particular one wasn't keen for the dog to go anywhere near her. And by the sounds of it, they are getting traces off them at the moment uh, for cocaine. So. So this, the, this, the officers are just doing further investigation on that at the moment. Confronted with the evidence, one of the girls admits to having taken cocaine, but with such strong traces, officers are still highly suspicious. Well, still getting hits absolutely uh, everywhere for coke, the thing. You said you used some last night, yeah. yeah. First of all, I also got hits on the plane for coke, so up on the dog where you were sat. On the plane? Yeah, if you both, yeah. Then... Your seat's on the plane, OK? So, what I'm going to do, it will take you into what you want to take on these, these rooms. So we we'll get some repack the van and bring it in. Come in here with me. Yeah, yeah. Officers have no jurisdiction over drug use abroad, but they suspect the girl may be carrying cocaine internally. It's a serious crime with potentially lethal consequences. Also, you've got suspicion that you could have drugs internally somewhere because there's none in your bag. You crazy, man. So, what I have to do here, OK? Uh, I'm arresting you, OK? I'm suspicion of being involved with the illegal importation of controlled substance, cocaine. Okay, it's okay on this one. I have to ask you. You do not have to say anything, okay? But it may harm your defence. If you fail to mention something in question you later on, call it. anything you do say will be given in evidence. Do you understand that? Right. The girls will now be searched and okay. x-rayed. What happens when you don't find anything? If nothing's found, um, I'm sure you'll be unarrested and go on your way. Their ordeal is far from over. In Gatwick, officers are x-raying the bags off a flight from Turkey. It's outside the EU and a regular source for smuggling cheap cigarettes. But the team have their doubts about this particular flight. It's, um, it's a saga holiday flight, which means it tends to be the older generation. If we get cigarette seizures off this, I'll eat my tie. <laughs> But straight away, the officers find over 4,000 cigarettes. They then head upstairs to see who collects the bags. They watch as the passengers walk straight through, nothing to declare. It's at this point the offence has been committed. You've come into the green nothing to declare channel, yep. which means you've got no more than one litre of spirits each, one, pack, <coughs> one packet of 200 cigarettes each, as long as you're over 17. Oh, I've got 200 cigarettes, but... How many have you got? Uh, I've got 2,000 <coughs> so. <laughs> it's a clear-cut offence, and the man won't be happy with the result. By coming into the green channel over the allowances, you have committed an offence. So, because you've come into the green channel, the penalty will be today is to, for me to seize all the cigarettes from you. No. If I can go over to France... Yeah, but France... Legally, no, I can legally go over to France with a seven and a half ton lorry, Fill it up with one maker fags and come through legally, and I can't be done for it. Doesn't yeah. matter how many you bring through. Yeah, but that is because it's come in to, it's going to Europe, and tax yes. has been paid into Europe by buying them in Turkey, in Turkey outside the Turkey. European. Yeah, but not to the European Union. Because that was our fault. 
Yeah, yeah but the we, problem is you've Turkey's come to Europe. Europe. Turkey's not in the European Union. Uh, Turkey's in Europe. But it's not in the European Union. Well, and by not being in the European Union, that means tax is not paid into the European Union, which is why you have an allowance of 200. The man think thinks he knows his geography, but he clearly doesn't know the law. It's as simple as that. I'm taking your bags with me. You won't be taking your cigarettes with you. Who's stopping you? No, no, no. At the end of the day, I'm not being rude. At the end of the day, it's my hard-earned money. It's bought them, and she wants to take them so they can chuck them in the cigarette. It's wrong. We've said okay, that's fair enough. Hands up. We'll pay the tax. Totally yeah, yeah mean, but you've committed an offence. But yeah, it's but you've committed an offence by coming into the Green Channel. Yeah, it's an outright offence. Where they come from? Turkey. 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 You're at 200 each. In the European. That's it. I've, I've come from Europe. Yeah. Makes no but difference. But not the European Union. 200. It's a difference. The man decides to take the law into his own hands. I'm going round the Red Channel. Sorry. No, you're too. No. Right. Come down there. You're coming into the. Off. You've come into the Green Channel. All right. I'll take those. No. 200 are allowed to be mine. No. You by just coming into. But by coming You've into the them. by coming into the Give channel. Give me the paperwork, arrest me. No. Get a bag. No. Get a bag. No. Get a bag. No. A lot of them. I'm not the. This is my own money. This is my own money, which I've got ended up from. This was a family holiday. I paid for it from me. Then a grand step no, bed legacy, so. and they're going to take even more money from me. Bad enough. The government can rip you off and in every tax and every other tax, and then these do the same. Taking cigarettes from tired passengers can often boil over into angry confrontations. Mm -hmm. Sam hopes she's seen the last of this man's temper. Back in Manchester, the suspected smuggler's plan is beginning to unravel, and their attempt to dispose of the evidence has failed. I think. OK, all right, no worries. What? what was the fire? One of the officers um, found a package uh, by the bench uh, which we think one of the girls has actually dropped. Um, it was uh, found to be cannabis in a sock. Uh, he's actually looked and within the cannabis he's found uh, a small plastic bag, like a deal bag, containing some white powder. Uh, we suspect that to be cocaine. The girl who was travelling with her, um, the officers have conducted uh, a search of person. During the search of person, they found another package. It's a similar, it's a sock containing cannabis. They weren't sure whether they could feel something else, so they upgraded the search to a strip search. Um, they've done a strip search now, and they're, they're quite happy she's got nothing on her person. But having detected such high hits for cocaine, the girls are led away for a full body x-ray. Class A smugglers face a maximum of life in prison. Let's get in there and sit down, please. You're best not talking to each other. If you talk to each other, we'll have to take you one at a time and it'll take longer. Dealing with suspected drug swallowers is also stressful for the officers. If the girls do have packages internally, it's a life-threatening situation. By using the machines we have in the Green Channel, we've found very high traces of cocaine. So we believe they could well have concealments of cocaine inside them. We just simply put the passenger on the machine and it passes the person through the machine, we instantly get an image on screen that we can examine and if we can see packages there then they're back up to custody while we await the packages to pass through the system. Fine, don't you? Don't know. What do you think? You tell us. We've got to be 100% sure there's nothing up there. If we say there's, there's nothing there and if it is something like cocaine that doesn't know when the package does split you know, you're talking a matter of seconds before you, know, you suffer a fatal overdose. So we want to be 100% sure there's nothing there before we say, yeah, it's negative. If you put your feet on them marks, hold on to either side, right, it'll be a couple of seconds and it'll start moving. Thankfully, both scans are clear, but the girls are still in trouble. Two weeks later, a court decided the drugs were for personal use only, and they got a 12-month suspended sentence for the attempted importation. And back in the Gatwick search bay, things seem to have calmed down a bit. This is back down, mate. I'm not going to anyone. Because if I did, it could be you looking at me like that. I believe you'd be on your with it. Well, we he's standing there. Mr. Cigarettes at the end of the day, let them do what they want to do. The gentleman wasn't too happy about uh, the fact that I was seizing his cigarettes. 
but it is a right of way, it's coming in from Turkey. You are only allowed one packet of 200 cigarettes. You have to be over the age of 17. And they were in very much in excess of their allowances. Good evening. Uh, it was until we met you. At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just landed from Port of Spain, St. Lucia. UK border officers need to closely monitor flights from the Caribbean, a known source area for cocaine. Sniffer dogs are a powerful tool in fighting smugglers, and one bag in particular gets rookie drug dog Barney excited. I took Barney um, to where the Caribbean flight was landing and he gave a really nice indication on a passenger's bag. This, this bag is yours and this bag is yours? Yes. Uh, right, there's things that you cannot bring in this country, OK? okay. Uh, things that you cannot bring in. Do you have no guns? Guns, like shoot, bang, bang. No guns, no drugs. Oh. Right, no cocaine, no drugs. Right? Sure? OK. Has anybody given you anything to bring back? You're carrying parcels and gifts for people. The passenger is acting nervous, and Warren decides to do some background checks. I mean, he's quite a presentable bloke that you probably wouldn't, wouldn't look at too much, but when Darren's come up and said that the dog's indicated on the bag, obviously you focus on, on that bloke. When we focus on him in the queue, he's quite nervous, and he's... You know, he's showing signs that he doesn't really want to be there. He wants to be straight through and out. And obviously, when he's been intercepted as well, he's, he's showed out there as well. He's fiddling with the bag. He doesn't want to make eye contact with you. And then, um, from initially speaking really good English, he doesn't seem to understand what I'm, what I'm saying to him. So, so yeah, so it's all there. The man's bag is put through an X-ray to check for irregularities, and straight away it confirms Barney's suspicions. Very carefully, okay. I know your English is not good. Okay, I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the illegal importation of a controlled drug. Okay, you didn't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. And anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand what I said to you? No, I understand. Well, basically, in a nutshell, okay, I think you have drugs in your baggage, and that's why you've been arrested. What? I think you have drugs in your bag in here, okay, so you've been arrested for that, yes. We'll explain it a bit more later on, OK? Warren has uncovered a false bottom in the suitcase, but with the man now claiming not to understand English, it's going to take a while to get to the bottom of the story. At Manchester, border officers in the immigration area have asked Officer Liz to search a man hoping to enter the UK on a tourist visa, as they have concerns over how long he plans to stay. This gentleman's coming into the country to meet someone he's met on the internet. It's um, a girlfriend and he's coming into the UK to see her for the first time. And how long is it you're here for? Uh, six months. Six months. And uh, why have you come to the UK? Um, to eventually try to get married to my girlfriend. I proposed her over online. All right. And she accepts it? Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. The reason that we're going to search for his bags now is because the immigration officers have questioned him upstairs when they took his passport off him and then to the UK. Um, because of what he said, his reason for staying here, that's why they want us to search his bags to see if there's any documents in there that's going to indicate he's going to stay in the UK for longer than what he's, he's intimating. And when did you meet your girlfriend? Uh, back in October. October 08. Yeah. yeah. The man is being unusually candid, but his story has all the hallmarks of an immigration scam. All right, so you met her in October 08. Where was that? Uh, on an online game. Oh, in an online game? Yeah. Oh, right, what game was that? Uh, Second Life. Second Life? Yeah. What was that all about? What's, what, what kind of game is that? Is it like it's a... It's a, a role-playing game. All right. Just a bunch of pictures. OK. Right, so you've proposed to someone you've never even met. The man's honesty is starting to get yeah. him into trouble. 
So when you get married, um, when, when do you plan to get married? Well, we're going to try to give it about a month or two and then we're going to, if we're still madly in love with each other, we're going to right. go ahead and do it. Okay. And then we're going to apply for the marriage visa. Right, and where will he live? Will he live here or in the States? Uh, I'll live with her. But this is against immigration rules, and unless he begins to explain himself, the romance may have to remain online. That's a pair of panties she sent me. All right, it's okay. All right, this is the movie collection. Yeah. It seems the custom search is starting to go a bit deeper than the man would like. What's up? <laughs> oh, right, oh, this is your eyes. Yeah. This is your private collection, is it? That's yeah, okay. My dad tried stealing from me. You've got a bit of cannabis in there. It's a bit of, bit of weed there, is it? Liz discovers what could be cannabis. And, now where it came from. and suddenly yeah, the man so becomes sorry. evasive. Is that what it is? I'm not really sure. You're not sure? Okay. Are you just standing on there for a minute? The man's bid to meet his fiance looks on increasingly shaky ground. In Gatwick, the suspected smuggler has been taken to the custody suite. Meanwhile, Warren investigates what's hidden inside the suitcase. It's pretty, it's pretty well done, actually. Basically, you can see that it's got a, like a false bottom in it. What we want to do is just to spike it and test whatever's underneath. Let's see what we've got. So you got like a white powder or paste on the end there. It's like a field test for cocaine. Warren has found a white yeah, powder yeah, hidden yeah, deep in the structure of the suitcase. Yeah, you can see it's starting to go blue already. So you've got cocaine in there. And it's a big haul for the team. How much do you think, sir, Warren? Three kilos. Three? Two, three. Oh, that's good. The man has to be held while a Bulgarian translator is found. The officers are now able to communicate the seriousness of the crime. Right, for that reason, the okay, he was arrested on suspicion. You've been involved in the illegal importation. Of a controlled drug. What drug do you mean? It doesn't really matter at the moment, okay? No, 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 Right, but hang on one minute. Basically, all we're getting doing here, okay? Where did it come from? Well, I don't know. Then he'll, he'll have to explain that and he'll get the chance to explain that later. Okay, all we're concerned with at the moment is him realizing or understanding why he's been arrested, okay? For rookie drug dog Barney, it's his first seizure and he's in line for a big reward from handler Darren. I'm really pleased. He's a new dog to me, but he's doing really well. Ready? I think he's a star in the making. <laughs> Good lad. Back in Manchester, immigration have asked customs officer Liz to examine the bags of a passenger from the US with a suspicious story and some suspicious baggage. This guy's just come over from America. Um, he's come to see his internet girlfriend who he's never met before. Uh, it sounds like he's intending to stay, so it sounds more like an immigration issue than from our point of view. Uh, I've just been looking, he's, he's got some adult DVDs, but I've just found a little tiny, tiny, just little residue potentially of cannabis, herbal cannabis, so I'm just going to give it a quick test and just see if it, if it is or not. Okay. Yeah, so I've got a positive reaction. It's a it's very, very small amount. I mean, obviously, he's been very upfront, upfront about what his intentions are, uh, which could be unfortunate for him, uh, depending on what immigration decide, but from what he's been saying to me, it does sound like he does intend to, um, you know, come over here to get married and to you know, stay here with his with his with his wife when he gets married. 
Liz thinks the cannabis is probably just a sign of personal use and so decides to hand him back to immigration. Yeah, it's, it's, it's reacted positively to cannabis. Um, I mean, have you got any drugs on you at all today? No, ma'am. No. Okay, what'll happen now is uh, we'll take you back upstairs. Um, I'll just show the immigration officer the paperwork that I found. Okay, and um, then it'll be up to them then. They might want to ask you a few more questions. Okay. Basically, he's applied for a visit visa, uh, which means he's come here for the purpose of tourism. When he's actually got to the immigration desk, he told the immigration officer that he's come to meet his girlfriend. So it sounds really like he's come, he doesn't intend to go back at all. So I've passed that information on to the immigration officer. They'll interview him and they'll make a decision about whether or not to let him come into the UK or whether to send him back home to America. The man was allowed into the UK to meet his fiancée for the first time, but their relationship has been put on hold as he was returned to the United States the next day. The Bulgarian was charged with smuggling cocaine. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to six and a half years in prison.